Welcome back to another episode of this. It's some kind of strange car that was honking a honk. And we are going to do this two a little, or like maybe even more, side missions. One is the reported crime down here, and the other one is the side mission down here. So let's check out whatever this side mission is that we are going towards. And whoop, whoop. And it is, of course, just neutralize some <gasps> crime that takes place. And uh, that is basically it, isn't it? Looks like it. No, wait a minute. We're not even close. We are not even close. Three, Come on two, out. one. You're not in trouble. And now we are definitely in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. And there's another dude in the short circuit here. Come on. Bada boom. Instant kill, kill, kill. And short circuit is on cooldown. So, what do we got? Uh, we got this and this. Usually, they always have weapons on them. But as long as they are not in combat, you don't get any weapons. That is just absolutely strange. So, let, let's try something. Uh, let's pick up this body real quick and dump it. Do we get access to nothing? Okay, no weapons, no anything. Just great. And come on, I don't want to put you into the wood splatter. Surrender immediately. Mm hmm. So much so for immediability. Three, two, one. And there we go. Bam. Shouldn't there be something like a cooldown or so? And I got movement speed. Ah, now I understand. The movement speed stuff is what you get. Uh, what you use to improve your cold blood stat. That's why. You get a bonus movement speed every time you get rid of an enemy. Somehow, like take down, kill, whatever. And this is one of those. So, where are we going? And where is the, uh, where's the evidence that we need to secure? Is it down here? Yep, that's the evidence. It's actually just a body. Huh. I thought this was some kind of object that we have to pick up. Do we do be do do? That was actually a really, 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 really quick start to the missions. So, do we have anything else in here? Because it kind of seems as if there is. Uh, Sucker Bridge. Uh, what on earth is going on? I don't get it. It's just boom. You fall down, and for some reason, or like you fall down. I didn't even fall down here at all. All right, so let's do this again. This time with a little bit more finesse, I think. Woo! And there he goes. Next one. Still on cooldown because reasons. Three seconds. Two, one. It might be the burn, isn't it? Yeah, it is the burn. See that? Six seconds. Five seconds. Four. Yeah. The icon that says burning, <laughs> for some reason, is the icon that tells me about the cooldown of this effect. And the effect itself is actually a shot, not a burn. So why on earth does it show me the wrong icon? And this one here gets shot too. Bam. I think that's all of them, right? Probably. So, let's rush through that again. Do the same stuff we did before. Take the same items as we did before. But this time, we are keen on saving. Saving, 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 saving. Because we can do that. And we have to. Because otherwise, I will probably die. Again. And again. And again. And again. So, then we get this one. Did I forget anything of this dude? Okay, let's just not... Put him into the wood chipper this time. Now we are not a uh, wood chipper. Now we don't put people in wood chippers. Ah, uh, dumpsters. That's where we put people in. So let's save before we jump down here because for some reason, uh, moving forward just an inch, all of a sudden electrocuted me and I don't know what happened. Right? You go forward and then all of a sudden, bam, remainder payment due. So, dear Mr. Griffin, this is Nicole Ellis, representing Veni Vidivici. Oh, I came, I saw, and I, uh, vindicate, uh, I, 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 victorum. 
I was victorious <laughs> and I succeeded. I would like to inform you that we have recently acquired your personal debt amounting to 6.5 million. We kindly request immediate payment. If you are unable to settle your accounts, we will unfortunately have to initiate foreclosure and collecting proceedings. If during such proceedings we are um, uh, unable to cover the aforementioned amount, we will also be forced to collect your implants and any biological organs. As you can see, it would be in your own best interest to settle your debt in a timely manner. If you are considering leaving Night City, please note that our firm works in close cooperation with the NCPD and the South California Border Patrol. Uh, sincerely, Nicole Ellis, collecting the apartment. Like, how on earth are you supposed to get 6.5 million? And we got the level up. Nice. Uh, dear Mr. Griffin, no, we don't check the contents of the urns held in our columbarium. However, we do suggest you read our terms of service carefully before depositing the ashes of your loved one here. In particular, item 7.8, prohibited substances. Okay, sincerely, Jerome, da 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 da. Hmm. Okay. So, this might probably be why he got these 7 point something million. Right? Worldly possession. Oh! That's the one. That's the following job. Uh, that was connected to it. Worldly possession. Uh, there we go. NCPD scanner hustle. That's the one. Go to the columbarium in North Oak to find RJ Griffin's urn. And this is. Uh, of course, all over here. Um, hmm. So what I have to do is go to the quick travel location and figure out a way to get there immediately. I have absolutely no way of doing so, do I? Yeah, I don't have any quick travel option. The only other one would be to use the metro. Yeah, maybe maybe the metro works. Let's see. Ooh, more items. Yes. Let's try to complete this mission in one go and don't have anything else interfere with it because it gets really troublesome figuring out what's connected to what uh, after you started the whole stuff so that one is connected over here and of course I managed to pick the wrong way in 80 meters this way nope actually might be able to jump across that. Um, bam! All right. Watch out for cars. Whoop! And I got it. Perfect. I'm so good. Now, um, hmm. Okay. Let's check the metro city thingy. With a bit of luck, this one um opens up even more access points because it's the metro station, and the whole idea of a metro station is, of course getting you from one place to another but let's see where we end up at of course right here it's basically nothing more than a huge quick travel point that does not unlock anything else but the quickest way of getting there would be to start at the mega building age 8 or the cherry blossom market let's go to the cherry blossom market because it kind of sounds interesting might be japan ish what not related squeak 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 ICE stands for intrusion something something and we of course got a new message a new quadra for say uh, nice wasn't the quadra the uh, high class kind of driving vehicle thing imaging okay we're not going to look around here let's not uh, get too distracted how do you get out of this cherry blossom market does this thing even have a normal entrance, or do you have to use uh, this, whatever it is? Oh no, it's a road, right, wait, wait. Okay, so that might be the exit. Or is this another entrance? Is it, this is some kind of different entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Wasn't I here before? Ah, this was it, okay. The Cherry Blossom Market, that was where the... Uh, Ah, oh, the Ripper Dog was. Ah, good to know. Absolutely. 
Yeah, let's get ourselves a vehicle. Good one this time. Which one is it? Uh, bollocks. Let's not take this one. Let's get another one. Mm, there we go. Where does it come from? Ah, from down here, of course. Ooh. And onwards we go. Turn radius this is ah, this looks like a huge jump to be honest. Good old North Oak. Whoa. The cutting lines here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got an art Nasari that's looking nice. Another arc. We got Jackie's arc. Let's see. In a sorry racer, yes. You really have to break a little bit and then you can go around really, really, really tight corners, let's see. Like this, that's amazing. Using brakes is the thing to do. Wait a minute. And this is the earned thing, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of the. Who's this? Reminds me of the uh, ooh, memorial in Berlin. Ay ay ay! Let's hope that they are not going to see this. Okay, we got one. Whoa! How on earth? So, what's this one? A conversation between Tal and Adam. Tal, I had a word with our mutual friend, and he didn't want to talk at first. After four fingers, he began to have doubts. After nine, he was begging me to stop. But I thought it were uh, it a waste, and stopped with only one left. Ha, <laughs> of course. Your OCD couldn't take it. I finally got these coordinates. Heading there immediately. Rest easy now, you'll have your money. Wonderful, really. Tyler, excellent work at your service. Okay, so if you take out any uh, people on top of stairs, then they immediately break down. Not break, but they are going to die. I found three of them. Where's the third one? Anyway, we got our job pretty much done. Uh, is he breathing? He's breathing. Okay. So it's something... Or is it... It might be just some, some physics thingy that are still wiggling about. Copied message. Dear Mr. Griffin, of course, da 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 da. Uh, we'd be happy to fit you in. I would just like to let you know that our full skin transplantation plus facial reconstruction uh, plus genetic camouflage plus voice recalibration treatment will take about 12 hours and is. Whoa, that's fast. It's carried out under full anesthesia. Do not consume alcohol or any psychoactive substances for 48 hours before the procedure. Thank you, and see you soon, Dr. Jay Gibson. Wow. So, did he do this before or after he got this? Probably uh, after, in order to not get killed. But 6.5 million? Damn, that's a lot. Huh, ashtrays, of course. How would he even pray in this kind of like... Really strange looking environment. I don't know. Doesn't really look nice though. It's like compact, the compactest way of disposing the dead. It's like walls upon walls upon walls. Maze, maze, even more mazes. What do we have here? Jason, oh. Whoa. You can read the names of some of those. Robert John Lindner, son of a bitch who never gave up. Legend among legends. Out Cunningham. Oh, never fade away. Remember this name. That will uh, come in handy at some point, I believe. 
So, Roy Betty, all these moments will be lost in peace. Da 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 da. Sit and meet. Creator of world. Jason Albury, father, husband, brother, son. Saw high in subspace. Uh, Ryan Adam Webb. I'm a rocker boy. Nick Four, beloved friend, brother, and a good man. He was taken too soon. Anthony Perala, Perales, beloved friend, and what well, up? Peralta, maybe, but no. Andrew Wayland, you try to shape reality at a lethal cost. And can you read a few more? No, it's just the the ones down here, basically. Or at least, yeah, this is what I. It's just the few of them in the center of the memorial. Otherwise, oh wait, a few exceptions still apply. Dean Russell's friendship was an inspiration. Is a love a blessing? Oh, there we go. But no, we're not doing uh, these quests now. Because mom got really sick and had to leave. But I know she's watching you from on high and that she loves you very much. Preston says that his dad died and he can still see him and talk to him whenever he wants. Mm. Because Preston's dad, he didn't go to heaven like your mom. Preston says his dad is in an even better place than heaven. He's at Arasaka. <laughs> and he said if we had more money, then mom could also be at Arasaka instead of in heaven. And then we could go and see her together every day. Honey, I'm sorry. Wow. Really? Wow. <laughs> but this should be made on a personal level, not on a... Uh, what do you want to uh, to do with your beloved family, right? Because in, in, the, in the end, it's just kind of selfish if you try to decide this for another person. It should always be done from the person itself. Alrighty. Now we did a really, 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 really nice quest and uh, also got a nice quick travel station. Yeah, look at that. There's probably another one up here, but we don't care about that because I want to clear this whole section and I don't want to. It always goes back to ghost town. Let's do this side job over here, which is. Uh, okay, let's go to this bar, the riot bar, and then. Was I ever at the riot bar? I don't know. It says riot. Is this a riot ball? Is this just a riot, riot, riot? Riot, riot, riot. A riot, a riot. And advertisement for the what's and all again. Perfect. Oh, yes. It is a riot. So, who are you? A bouncer from the animals. Uh -huh. Um. Alright. Let's not fight him. Because I actually have no negative experience with them first, and also it kind of feels mean. If it bothers you so much, go get some car clear plug. Well, maybe. Can I just... It's not open yet. Okay. So, maybe it's like Lizzie's. It's only open at night. Or like after six or something. And then you can get there. Whoopity, whoopity boo, boobity boopity boop, boobity boop, boop, boop. Okay, some items you are just unable to pick up because of reasons. And whoopity go. All right. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was close. Wait a minute. Really? Oh, almost. Okay, that one cannot be open. And... Okay, why is it that the... Here, let's get up here. There's no... There's another way up. That's great. But again, we are going kind of outside bounds almost, aren't we? Uh, no, not this time. I would have thought that there's at least something that connects all of that. So, uh, yeah, this side job. The other thing is there's also ghost town here and this side job. Hmm. I could go directly towards the center after 
this one. So yeah, let's let's go with this one here. Why not? <laughs> let's switch those jobs around. Uh, let's take the one that's right in front of our eyes and try to not get ourselves killed. Uh, and I can't see anything. Wow. Looks as if you actually destroy stuff, but no, there's just this. No, oh, you actually destroy stuff. Okay. You are heavy enough to break the concrete. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Whoa. Um. Was that me? I don't know. Could be. Looks suspicious again. Ah, this is the, uh, the, 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 after, was it the afterlife? Yeah, it was the afterlife. But this is not where we need to go. We have to go to the, uh, the side. Ah, uh, but, no, wait a minute. It tells me to go this way for some reason. Mm, what's in the afterlife? Wait a minute, what? This one points me towards the ghost town. How do you stop tricking this job? Come on. No. Yes. Okay. Somehow, it it must be inside the afterlife. I just don't want to trigger another cutscene or anything. That's why. Yeah, it is down there. Ah, oh, goodness. All right. This other side quest is somewhat stuck to a main quest, maybe. But we will figure this out. Ah, okay. Ooh, another one. Nice. I uh, like this part of the city. Once with money. Hmm. Alright. Looks like I really have to go down to the afterlife and trigger a different side mission. I just hope that I have to talk to someone in the afterlife first in order to do this. Well, this way. Yeah, go to the afterlife. It says go to the afterlife, not that I have to talk to anyone um, but I think something else will actually get triggered if I get closer to it and I don't want to continue the side mission okay so we have to do this a different way now not going into the afterlife but actually stopping in front of it and going there I'm going back and forth between the missions I just want to avoid main missions for some reason I want to keep them on a nice line and finish them one at a time. It rhymes even, so that means it's true. So, who is the Ripper Dog down there? Was I ever down here or not? The Bradbury and Buran. Seems familiar. This one goes down here. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Victor. Good old Victor. Let's see, maybe he has some nice new upgrades for us. So, Vicky. Vicky, 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 Vicky. Like, that's the thing. Uh, I thought this was not the, uh, Ripper Dock that we started at. Um, uh, but it was... Yeah, because I confused this mega building with the other building here. Both of them are called H10s, but this is uh, also... Uh, one of them should have been called H11 or something. But that's just what it is. All right. Let's quickly talk to him to upgrade. Uh, let's talk. Johnny uh, and the chip. Do we? No. Uh, so, so a weird moral on the mall. Uh, need to think on replacing my implants. Okay, we are going to do the implants thing. thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Sure. Do we have anything good in here? Any uh, orangey stuff? This is miscellaneous. The Dine Nailer Sandevistan. 
that one just increases damage of course crit chance of course just anything good of course but it does also need reflex and i'm not a reflex kind of guy so uh and also the stevenson is kind of cool i want the stevenson steven stevenson in its best form in the legend legendary form that would be sweet really 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 sweet hmm all right kiroshis let's take this one here uh let's see is there another one than this probably not so we just need the best version of it only difference is the amount of mods you can slot in it and i already have everything in here do i already have the best of the best installed uh, maybe i want to have a better version of that but no, he doesn't have that. What about this one? Um, instantly restores free health after you discharge a fully charged weapon with a hit to an enemy. Hmm, sounds great. But what's this one? Uh, instantly restores 10 stamina when you defeat an enemy. Yes. Increases health regeneration outside combat. Yeah, all of these need body to work. Health drops. Okay, this is security and combat stuff. And the breach timer for some reason. Mm, what else we got in here? All of them are also present. I thought I had... No. Mm, I had a different one of these. Allows you to aim and shoot at the same time. No, this is just uh, normal. We don't need normal. What's this? Iran's immunity to shock. What's this one? Armor. Okay. So, I can increase my armor now. Nice. Let's just take this. Uh, because... You can have 200 armor and some immunity. That's just amazing. And I can just take it out and switch it with a, another bonus. And that is just so sweet. So, what about this? All of them are just rare. Yeah, wait a minute. None of them are epic. They're just blue. Where are the others? So, there's also ballistic code processors. How about the use? Allows you to use the smart targeting module on smart weapons. Increases uh, the chance for smart bullets to hit targets by 15%. And this one is just that. Allows you to use the smart targeting module on smart weapons. Yeah, nice. Um, increase the chance to... Da -da -da -da, targets by 18% and crit damage. Whoa. Huh, this is just the chance to hit it directly. Links the user and so on and so forth. Uh, then we have the... I already have the best version of it, right? This is for the ricochet. This is the not as good ricochet thingy. And yeah, then yet there are different smart links. Let's just take the smart link here. Um, yeah, do I use smart weapons? I don't know. Ricochet just sounds so much better. But when it comes to, to stylish things and the like, I wouldn't use them that much, would I? Actually not. So... What else? Uh, he does uh, have something in the skeleton. No. I have all of the skeleton bonuses that I need. Increase the base damage of melee? No. And of course some attack speed. But most of the skeleton stuff is also just body or reflex dependent. Mostly body though. Alright. Too bad I can't stack the armor bonuses. That would have been amazing. So. Let's get ourselves some... I kind of... I can't click on one or three in order to move. Yeah, now I can, strangely enough. Um, what's this one? Crafting spec, sensory amplifier. Allows you to craft a cyberware mod. Nice. I dig it. Uh, headshot bonus damage, but wow. 50%. Only, either they are non-lethal or they dish out tons of damage. Crit chance or... The headshot bonus damage. What is better in this case? As you see, the precise expulsion radius of your grenade allows to preview your bullet's ricochet trajectory in order to control your bullet's trajectory. You must install both the smart and ballistic co processor cyberware. Hmm. That is. Yeah, that. Hmm. Automatically highlights enemies who have detected you. Ooh. That's actually really nice. Also, what about the other mods that I place in there? So, with a bit of luck, I still have some crafting... Wait, what? Oh, it's sorted by weight. Wait a minute. Uh, I need to sort it by type. And scroll up a little bit there. Okay, let's just 
get rid of all of them. Come on, this one. Wow. Wow. He has so much stuff in his inventory, it's unbelievable. What about those grenades? Ah, they only cost for two or whatnot. Mmm, that means I have to sell some of these crafting components. Let's see. Don't want to sell too many. But I might... There we go. That should be everything. Oh, now I'm so much more loaded than before. All right. So, there are... Look at this. There's a fool on the hill. Talk to Misty. And... Uh, Talk to Victor. Yeah, also Fool on the Hill. The Fool on the Hill uh, is a completely... What is this mission? What are these missions? Like a jacket? What is Fool on the Hill? It is a normal side job. No, we're not doing normal side jobs. We're going for gigs. Not this kind of stuff, though. And this is uh, also find all of the tarot cards. Interesting. So that's connected to a completely different mission now. So these two are normal side jobs. And then there's happy together. Talk to the cops. It's like, uh, yeah, the, the, the tarot card thing is something that I want to kind of do at the end, kind of. Okay, let's do the assault in progress. That's something we can do. Like there are other missions, of course, other side jobs. But the other side jobs are more normal, let's say. They are not connected to any of the main characters. And that's what I'm always focusing on. Ah, righty. Now I'm also immune to shock, which is great. Oh, oh and by the way, I can level up. So, let's level up uh, this thing here. To 15. I just need one additional oh, point in here, and then I'm actually now two. Hmm. Improves damage and all damage related stats of crafted weapons by da 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 da. Damage related stats, yes. But six, 18, or in this case 16, is much more important. But when you add it, you can just go to the max. Uh, increase the sale price of. Hmm. Reduces cr upgrade cost reduction by 15%. What is 15? Unlocks chance to acquire component upgrades by 5%. Uh, some perks, crafting specs for iconic weapons and clothing. Oh, only at 18, come on. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Can't even do anything with 15, can't they? Nah, not really. Nothing in here is in any way useful. Only thing that levels up in the same way is this. And of course, you get some cr uh, immunity to shock. Don't want to spend it here mm, because cyberware I can take out, perks I can't take back anymore. And there is a nice cyberware augment that uh, makes you dish out more damage if you are burning or shocked or something like that. And I don't want to be immune to either of those effects just in case. <laughs> Uh, all right, grenades deal more damage, grants immunity to all effects from your own grenades. Nice, the looting drones. This is the only thing good, really. A seventy-five percent chance of looting a weapon mod or attachment. Ricochet enables uh, grenades to deal crit da damage. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm, and the armor ignoration. Sweet, but I still have absolutely no clue what to do with all those perks now. Just collect them. Use them on a different tray. So, back to actually dismantling. Mm, I need to dismantle all of the consumables that I've bought, which are a ton by now. Let's get all of the Nicolas. And I'm at 1000 something. And 101 not. And 4000. Okay. Uh, and the sir Wait a minute. These are a lot too. More than a hundred, that's perfect. Exactly what I want. And I'm almost at 10,000 of those common crafting components again. 10,000 is a good number. Because that means you're really... 
higher than the max. So, what about that one? Ah, too close, too close, too close. Don't want to get rid of the others. Oh, and this one here. This one can be dismantled too. And this one... That's weird. Look at this. You cannot dismant... Ah, huh, because this one is selected. Uh, you can take away this one. This one, for example, is green. And this one... Like, this one is highlighted for some reason. But others, there's just a number. This one is highlighted. That's weird. Why are some of them highlighted and some of them not? That is so strange. That one goes. Uh, that one goes. What about the pistols? Is that it? Ooh, eliminates vertical recoil while aiming. Oh, it's, a, mm, it's a really good mod. You could place it on stuff. Oh, that's a golden one. Oh. Okay, those two uh, I have to place in the Colby. Whoa, it's already here. It's already here. How much did I get? 5,000 crafting experience. It's nice. I need a Just a short one. Just by to say uh, disassembling stuff. That one goes in here. And those two for some reason look nice. So now what about the crafting tree? Nah, I thought I would get more than that. Alright, what about this eight wall? Oh. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. Uh, hmm. What is this? Sensory. Ah, increases crit damage by 30%. Nice. Cyberware mod. But what Cyberware mod? What Cyberware mod can this be slotted in? Crit damage by 30%. Wow. Okay, do I have another cyberware mod? Like we got the target analysis thing. Increases crit damage. All your weapons are non-lethal. Hmm. Let's just uh, make three of them because I have no idea where to place those. And back to the inventory, back to cyberware. And where do we have mods? The only mods I can place are in the arms or in the eyes. So which do we have here? Like these are eyes that just highlight enemies. Yeah, nice. And then in here, what do we have here? Interesting. You can place two different kinds of augmentations in here. One of them is of course the uh, crit bonus damage. Increases crit damage by 30%. And what does this, what do the stats say now? Crit damage, there we go, 40, Mm-hmm. What about my inventory? Do I have anything in here that has crit damage on it? No. No? Only crit chance, but crit damage is 40-something uh, percent. So the other 11% came from something different, it seems. I just need to know what. Huh. But interesting, interesting crafting recipe. Back to the backpack and is this thing heavy? Can we keep that one just around? Where is it? That's not it. There we go. Increases crit damage by 30%. Hmm. Sensory amplifier. Now I just need some buff that buffs the monowire again. That would be sweet. Or at least some craftable thing for the eye. Because I can place three different mods on there. Well, yeah, I can place three different mods on there, so I can just take all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, which ones are the most useful? Um, this one increases crit chance by 5%. Okay, that one is good. Uh, to see precise explosion radius of grenades. Yeah. Automatically highlights enemies who detected you. That's also quite nice and of course the every weapon is non-lethal but headshots don't deal additional damage hmm okay but how often do i do headshots not that often but if everything is non-lethal then it's great <sighs> but crit chance crit chance would be pretty sweet to have as well so let's go into crafting and hope that somewhere in here we have a 
an eye upgrade that says crit chance. Now this is the non-lethal bonus. And we haven't found it yet. No. Uh-uh, I haven't found it yet. Okay, okay, okay. Too bad. It's not in here. I just need another eye upgrade. Alright, but that means uh, that we can just slot whatever buff in here. Not the crit chance, though. We don't need that. Uh, but actually, it doesn't really matter because I will exchange this with a better version nonetheless. So let's place this in here. Then uh, highlighting enemies that have seen me is pretty cool. And also, yeah, maybe being able to see uh, the enemies. But can I craft that? That's the thing. Can. That's the crafting. There we go. I can only craft. Uh, tiger paw, no. The highlight. Uh, no, the non-lethal thing, not the highlight. Uh, this thing I can craft a thousand times, but the rest not. Ah, uh, that is so not cool. So absolutely not cool. I can only get like 38 experience if I craft that. I need to do something with a more impact than this so which one do we have that's just the fast rotor but this is for the mantis blade mantis blade only what else we got 12 12 18 or 9 9 15 and these are the uh, the iconic ones yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes you just see the body for some reason. Hmm. 9, 6, 12. Wait. 9, 9, 15. 9, 6, 12. Okay, let's go for the headwear for this one. No, wait a minute. I need movement speed. Oh, of course, movement speed. Just unbelievable. Movement speed is just so much more. Yeah, let's have a few of these too. Alright. And this will be the rest. And I wanted to do at least one other mission than that. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And it's just upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Come on. Until I'm at least after the pill. Oh, I, really, I, I should put some kind of a uh, some kind of a trigger in here similar to the fast click but somehow I couldn't manage to make that work ah there we go and we're after the pill perfect so let's see let's go back in here and uh, disassemble all of them nice only 81 that's ah, definitely not as good so what about the headwear that I found? All of them are only white-ish. White-ish is not good. And of course the uh, shoes don't have any... That's weird. This one has two empty mod slots on it. But it is... Was I really that blind or did they just pop up now? Maybe I was really that blind. Okay. What's the difference between all of them? They have the same strength. So let's just get rid of, uh, yeah, all of them again. So shoes, for some reason, do not come with mods attached. This one can be uh, flown away. Yeah, same thing for this one there. None of these are in any way good. Alright, wait a minute, wait. Did I accidentally... No, okay. I thought I was dismantling something by accident. So, okay, so the headpiece does not have anything. Then you have the head, you have the face. Does the face come also with some mods attached? Let's try that. Let's do this a multitude of times, get some extra experience, and then also get surprised that there's uh, no mod slots available. 
Do 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 just need Yeah one more level up and then I'm able to uh, increase the Yeah what 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 should I do? Increase the uh, the rarity of crafting components. I should get this perk instead because I don't like crafting this thousands of times. I wanna have a multi craft option if that's even the thing. Let's see. It might be so, so fast. Let's hope so. Alright, come on. Until I'm after the grenades. Then I have at least managed to get a little bit out of it. Do -do 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 -do. Crafting, crafting, crafting. There should be a way to make uh, multitudes. But the problem about this crafting system is that uh, it might just have been intended to make one singular item and then that's it. Uh, and on multiples in a row just to level up your character. Now, what do we have? And ah, we have mods attached. So, uh, but the mods that are attached are the same as on the uh, other headpiece thingy. So, that's not useful. That's not useful. That's not good. Uh, this one, on the other hand, yeah, it's green. Nice, but no. Uh, I'm going for, like, blue upgrades or... Why is it always... Huh? Minimum amount of armor. Why is it always so bad? Okay, so the face upgrade didn't do much. And for some reason I don't have any more crafting components. Ah, huh. I just crafted the grenades. I didn't dismantle them. That's the reason. Uh, grenades. Uh, consumables. These thingies here. Bam. Perfect. So, let's see, which one should we go next? Maybe the inner torso, the ultra light, whatever. Um, what does my inventory say? Yeah, I could go for the inner torso. Maybe we can get some nice ones in here. Ones with uh, multiple mod slots even. That would be amazing. Okay, let's at least craft as many that I'm... Almost close to the finish, but I'm, yeah, I am already done, kind of. Let's see what we have. We have, um, two mod slots. Perfect. And a decent start. That means I can place some armadillo mods in there. Exactly what I need. The base stat is always the same, so don't need to worry about that. But for some reason, they are not coming with any mods attached. So let's disassemble this. And just craft some more armadillo mods. Well, the armadillo is down at the bottom. Two, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. I need 20 of them. Um, to have at least a good chance of having two or more higher class rare in this case armadillo moths because most of the time it's just green ones or white ones but you only get the occasional one or two uh useful armadillos in here ah, okay i got a few more that's nice this one i could just talk about that one should be yeah i should definitely take this apart it's absolutely useless so we're going for the 89, and the other one will be also an 89. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, uh, let's go back to the backpack. That one can be disassembled. And also all the armadillo mods that I've made that I'm now useless. I don't need the green ones. I'm only going for... Like, I can afford to just... Go rare, at least. Rare or epic, even. But then it's just a level dependent, so the higher your level, then the higher your chance of having higher tier components. And the last one, bam! So, got it. What does the crafting thingy say? Eh, still too much. 
So let's do this so I can get additional crafting specs. Best would be to just uh, craft whatever weapon is there, but nah. Oh, actually, the best would be to get some outer torsos. Yeah. Outer torso jackets. And take them apart for mods. That would have been the best. Let's make one of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm almost there. Takes ages. Almost there. Just a few more clicks. Nice. That's also a. S oh, I don't even need to scroll up and down that much. I just need to click on the specific category that I want to craft. There we go, 15. I could have just clicked on cyberware and then I would have seen all of the items that I can make out of this category. Same goes for mods and attachments. Oh, sometimes you are just brain lagging. Cyberware malfunctioning doesn't really, like I already have the better version available. So, what about those mods now? Yeah, I have no melee, melee mods for it. What about these? Uh, huh. 98, nice. Aqua Universe Luxury Aromat Weave Shirt. Is this the one that I can craft or what? Aqua Universe, yeah, that's the one. Let's just throw this away. Don't need stuff in there without any use. All right, crafting is leveled up the way it should be. Now, nah, only thing I have to do is this uh, assault in progress thing. Or do we have another quest in here? Happy together and shoot to thrill. Go to Wilson's shooting range. Ooh. How many more side missions are there? Not that many. Also, the gigs aren't that many anymore. <laughs> yeah, find all the Toro graffiti. Nah, I take this one at the end. It's kind of like a nice finisher huh? because of this uh, mysterious aesthetic. That's just why. <laughs> ah. Should I go to Wilson instead? Yeah, I could just go to Wilson. Wilson is right around the corner. Wilson is right here. So, this is where... That is? Now, where's Wilson? Oh, yeah, Wilson is up there. dum dee dee dum dee dee dum 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 dee dee dum dee dee dum Ah, oh, no, this is one of those cops. Not again. Yeah. Have to be careful not to accidentally hit things with it. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Hmm. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Ah, yeah. that one again. No biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tag exists. Yeah, they were talking about Max Tag and the like. So. Services. Let's get up there. The other way would be to use the Atrium quick travel thing. Avante, avante. New York and Jay Tokyo. Ah, not New York, New York. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The Lunar Rinskaya uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Nova Sibiris in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. Which means? As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high magnitude earthquake. Ooh. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two Whoa. weeks. That's so amazing. 
After their rescue and following a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. <laughs> Moving from the Earth to <sighs> has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. The proposed base will be subdivided a into new two one. areas. Industrial, scientific, and residential. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase at a starting rate of one hundred million euro dollars. A hefty price, yes. Whoa. Can truly put a price on your security. Yeah, can you truly wait, where do we there's the elevator. Alright. And this is actually the perfect time to end this episode and continue with this in the other. Haha. <laughs> Until then, like and subscribe. I know, it kind of took a little while, but uh, what is wrong with this texture? Because it's always glitchy. See that? If you have the right angle, it's always glitchy. Really strange. But it's only this kind of texture, it seems. Uh, yeah, because this texture is also on concrete sometimes then it glitches too or maybe there's something generally wrong with these things whoa whatever he had as an implant that thing must be overpowered he can just phase in interesting anyway until then like and subscribe ta-ta